auxiliary equipment and maintenance work other auxiliaries shell and tube heat exchanger as the name implies this types of heat exchangers are made up of large numbers of tubes and a shell covering the bundles of tubes shell and tube heat exchangers are useful for pressurized application heat is transferred between the fluid in the tubes and the fluid inside the shell Design of the tube bundle is such that all the entry sides of the tube could be connected to a common header and similarly all the exit sides of the tubes also form another common header. Single pass heat exchanger. If the fluids get only one chance to exchange heat, then it is called single pass heat exchanger. multi pass heat exchanger if the design of heat exchanger is such that the fluids get more than one chance to exchange heat then this types of heat exchangers are called multi pass heat exchanger components in shell and tube heat exchanger tube plates tube stack water boxes and covers shell baffles see water in see water out lou boil in lou boil out pressure gauge temperature gauge drain valve air vent working After absorbing the heat from the main engine components the lube oil comes for the cooling in the heat exchanger and then again this lube oil is supplied to the main engine the cooling of the lube is done by the seawater in the shell and tube heat exchanger in this heat exchanger lube oil is flowing through the shell and seawater is flowing through the tubes The tubes are sealed into the tube plate at either end and provide a passage for the cooling liquid. The seawater is in contact with the inside of the tubes and the water boxes at the cooler ends. The oil or water being cooled is in contact with the outside of the tubes and he shell of the cooler. One tube plate is fixed while the other is free to allow for expansion and contraction of the tube stack. Tubes are passed from the baffles i.e. baffles are having a number of holes. Hence they provide intermediate strength to the tubes. Baffles also provide a mixed flow pattern for the fluid. Sacrificial anodes are provided to avoid the corrosion of the heat exchanger. Soft iron or mild steel anodes can be fitted in the water boxes and provided they cause no turbulence will help to give cathodic protection and a protective film. Temperature and pressure gauges are fitted at the inlet and outlet flanges of both seawater and lube oil to keep an eye on the operation of the heat exchanger. A drain valve is provided for both seawater and lube oil. An air vent valve is provided for venting out the trapped air inside the shell of the heat exchange.